Welcome to the new Chow Chuck Wing Museum at the University of Sydney. It's the first museum built on Gadigal land with Gadigal input. Ningani, Malinwani, Māori, Wajari, Gadigal We meet together on the very beautiful Gadigal country. One of the first things you'll see is this demonstration of our acknowledgement of country written in the Gadigal language. So we're stood under this wonderful skylight. It's like sitting under the fig trees outside. Yeah, that dappled light through the trees is just a fantastic way of incorporating ideas of cultural competence and cultural safety on so many levels. I mean, it's just one way that we make museums a little bit more welcoming. A lot of Aboriginal people have very negative historical associations with the way museums have represented their culture in so many ways. So to be able to build these more welcoming aspects into the actual design of the building, I think is so crucial. Aboriginal Australia isn't boxed off in a room on the side. It's created and designed to be in conversation with all the other exhibitions that are taking a place. And there's so many tangents that actually connect to the biodiversity of the Greater Sydney region. Those simple elemental forms of stone and wood have been sort of brought into the floors and the walls. And we didn't want the architecture of this building to take away from the art and artefacts that are actually in the building. You know, it needs to be respectful and beautiful in its own right, but not the showstopper. It is not the main event. It's the things that are in this building that are the very, very special things. In all the design choices, it was only endemic, local, native species that belong in this area that were chosen to be planted right up to the edges of the building. It's an incredible way to actually sustainably reassert the, the history of this site. It certainly wasn't one person making all these decisions and as a community I think we've reflected a pretty diverse range of opinions and been able to incorporate them pretty amazingly. It's also just so important to acknowledge the Gadigal people but also the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff and students and our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander advisory committee who was set up over the last three years to provide all sorts of oversight and input into all the decisions that we made. So through implementing the Wingara Mura Indigenous Design Principle into the Indigenous landscape design. We've sort of gone full circle back into what we tried to do at the entrance to the museum space, which is that acknowledgement of country. We meet together on the beautiful Gadigal country. It's not just words, it's also embedded into the external and internal spaces of the museum.